I find it pathetic how many publications, left-wing publications, progressive publications, like the New York Times, is trying to criticize Bernie Sanders for essentially making too much money, particularly from his book sales. They're trying to say that, oh, he's now one, he's part of the 1%. Okay, uh, what difference does that make? He's still pushing the policies that he's pushing. It would affect him too. But you're acting like, oh no, he couldn't possibly push for something that'll affect him. Um, yeah, he is. Just him making more money doesn't mean that suddenly he no longer supports the policies he's always supported. It's ridiculous. How does making a lot of money disqualify someone from being able to push forth policies that affect people who are rich. There have been a number of millionaires and billionaires who have advocated for things that would affect the rich the most. What's the deal here? Now, as I've discussed before, I think that Bernie Sanders may be very old. He's quite old. And he let Black Lives Matter walk all over him in Seattle, but he blatantly pushes against the idea of open borders, and he pushes for policies that would affect the rich. He wants to improve the quality of life for those who aren't filthy rich. I think he's a decent candidate for 2020. He's not pushing forth, or continually pushing forth, the policies that you'd expect to come from blue-haired feminists that you'd find at Colleges like Evergreen. He's willing to go on Fox News, where he knows that he's going to be scrutinized. He's willing to go on social media and discuss his policies. He pushes that we need to push our policies, not just this element of, oh, well, we're against Trump. Yeah, just being against Trump doesn't give you more of a chance of winning in 2020. Policies are important. Again, I know that he's quite old, and I know that he let Black Lives Matter walk all over him, but I certainly think he's much better than some of his competition. Now, I'm not saying that Bernie Sanders is the best candidate. I personally like Tulsi Gabbard the most, but her numbers aren't very good, and mainstream media really seems to be shitting on her really well. They're not even really giving her a chance. When you look at statistics about the different candidates that are running, they don't even include her in the statistics. So, you know, she's being shoved out of the race altogether. Now, I think Pete Buttigieg is an interesting candidate. There are some people who try to claim that he's not a good candidate because he only recently came out of the closet as gay. I don't really know how that's a valid criticism. Then there are the real jackasses out there who try to claim that he's not a valid candidate because, well, he's a white male. Who fucking cares? Jesus Christ, are you going to truly vote for someone purely based on identity politics? God, that's pathetic. We don't need to be voting against someone just because they're a white male or voting for someone because they're a, they're a female black candidate. It should be about policies. It should be about merit. I can't even wrap my mind around the mindset of people who think that we shouldn't vote for someone because they're of, a, they're of the demographic that's the most populous in this country. What the hell? What's wrong with you? I'm certainly worried about 2020. I'm worried that the Democratic candidate who could win in the primaries may not have a good plan for the economy. Nothing solid. I'm worried that the candidate who might win might be pushing identity politics. Vote for me because I'm a woman. Vote for me because I'm black. No, no. I'm worried that they're going to be pushing for something that you could consider postmodernism or things that will blatantly get the person labeled as a socialist, not even a democratic socialist. No, no, just a flat out socialist or even communism. And at the same time, I'm also worried about Trump. I'm worried that he's going to be pushing for things that go against his original campaign promises. 
I'm worried that he's going to go against us having safety nets. I'm worried that he's not going to be pushing for us to rebuild our infrastructure. And I'm primarily worried that he's going to continue to basically push for the destruction of our healthcare system, except for the very rich. Look, I'm not a religious person, but I honestly pray that Democrats don't fuck up 2020. I hope that the DNC doesn't fuck us all over like the last election.